My grandfather bragged all the time that he had read the Bible, and it was illegal in his life to read. Ultimately, I knew that words have power. I wanted as many people who could hear my voice to understand the importance of her work. Get people to trust, that, oh, this is something safe, and then, bam, hit them with Toni Morrison. One of them, early review, says she's got a great talent. One day, she won't limit it to only writing about black people. Like, really, it's limiting for her to write about black people? People began to buy Toni Morrison, and then we began to teach her, and as a consequence, they had to pay attention. You know, you'd sick unto death of being labeled a black writer. I prefer it. Oh, I thought you probably oh, were no. tired of it. Well, I'm tired of people asking the question. Oh, oh yes, of course. <laughs> I don't know where this woman's energy came from to raise two kids, to bring other people of color to the party, and also write these novels. Tony was an editor at Random House. Navigating a white male world was not threatening. It wasn't even interesting. I was more interesting than they were. And I wasn't afraid to show it. Suddenly, the canon wasn't the private property of white male writers. I thrown this book across the room and then walked down the steps laughing. Like you read Tony and you cry, but you gotta laugh. Texas Bureau of Corrections banned Paradise because it might incite a riot. And I thought, how powerful is that? <laughs> when Tony Morrison published Beloved, it was an extraordinary turning point. We can never think about slavery in the same way. A friend of mine called me up early in the morning and said, Tony, you won the Nobel Prize. And I remember holding the phone thinking, she must be drunk. Tony Morrison's work shows us through pain all the myriad ways we can come to love. That is what she does with some words on a page. Mm -hmm.